Hi everybody, I'm Jim Skelly and this is The Global Conversation. It's the second of my mini lectures for the fall 2011 semester. A um, number of things I want to talk with you about today um, and I will of course send a follow-up email that will detail uh, where you can find some of the resources that I'm talking about. Um, the first is that um, those thanks to all of you who have um, uh, detailed where your stuff has come from. I must say that uh, it's pretty impressive. If you haven't completed that exercise uh, to date, please do so. I think it gives you a great sense of how connected you are, unwittingly and often unknowingly, to people in other parts of the world. Um, also, I want to now release, and I'll, I'll put it up on the website as soon as I'm finished recording this mini-lecture, um, the second part of the exercise, which is to get you to take a look at one item, and I think it's probably easiest uh, if you do it with a t-shirt. Let's say that the t-shirt comes from El Salvador. Uh, if it does, what I would suggest you do is see how t-shirts are made in El Salvador and post your findings. Now, you don't have to do t-shirts, but you may uh, find that's an easy one to do. Um, uh, wherever, you know, you, whatever product you think is interesting and you'd like to know more about, please take a look at it and see the conditions under which it's made. And uh, in the case of cosmetics, which some of you seem to be concerned with, um, uh, please detail what's in them. Uh, that may also be very, very interesting. Um, and I want to thank uh, Svetlana in Lithuania for her post. Uh, I, about uh, two weeks ago, she put up a, a link to a YouTube video, which I've only gotten around to, to seeing today. And I have to say, it's, it's really great. It's the a video of what your face would look like if um, you put all of the makeup that you put on in a, in a year in one day. Um, it doesn't make your face look great, I have to say. But thanks again, Svidlana, for putting that up. Um, so uh, when you do do this exercise, and I'll again put up a special course discussion spot for that, um, do really think about what it means in terms of again, the connections we have with other people, how other people are living, and, um, um, you know, is there anything that we should do about that? Now, the next thing I want to talk to you about are the learning circles. And a fair number of you have sent in your choices with regard to um, learning circles. You've rank ordered the top three that you'd like to be in. Um, and we're going to start forming those next week when I meet the students who are taking the class in Hungary. And I'll, uh, I'll make a video, I think, with some of them uh, next week when I'm meeting them at the Institute for Social and European Studies in Hungary. But please do send in your learning circle choices. I prefer not to just, you know, slot you into one that you are not enthusiastic about. It's an important part of this class, and if you're committed to uh, studying the issues that we're all um, assessing, I, I really do hope that you'll give us that and that you'll um, uh, be an active member of the learning circles. Um, you work on a common project together with people in different parts of the world, and I think that's, um, that's very useful. Um, now, one of the other things that I wanted to talk to you about is a very uh, interesting development um, in London. And that is an, initi an initiative to uh, criminalize ecocide. Hmm? Uh, ecocide is, uh, uh, you know, it's the brainchild of an environmental lawyer named Polly Higgins in the United Kingdom. And um, what she's saying about it. Uh, is that corporate ecocide is a global crime that is far greater and more prevalent than most people realize. Um, and, you know, this is true. I'm going to also link uh, for you uh, to a video uh, interview with uh, Polly Higgins, uh, who I must say has taken a, a really quite innovative approach to everything. But essentially the idea is that uh, 
we would see a fifth crime against peace uh, defined in international law. Um, uh, in other words, instead of uh, just having um, genocide, crimes against humanity, crimes of aggression, and war crimes, we would also have the crime of ecocide. This could be a very, very positive and interesting development, and I hope you'll consider it. We're going to send you, um, uh, we'll sign you up for, their, for the newsletters of the group that's um, uh, behind this. Uh, I do think it's very, very interesting. And a few days ago in London, in the chambers of the United Kingdom's Supreme Court, they held a mock trial just to show how it would be played out in, uh, concretely. Uh, and they looked at, um, they uh, had on trial a number of CEOs, um, and um, uh, one actually was found not guilty on uh, the count of damage caused by an oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. But uh, in the case of uh, uh, the tar sands in um, uh, the tar sands in Canada, um, uh, which is a big environmental issue there, I, I have to say, um, uh, this is this is something that uh, if you haven't looked at, we're going to look at it more extensively uh, a little bit later in the class uh, in the semester. But uh, please do take a look at it. Um, it's the extensive destruction that's being caused to the ecology of certain sections of Canada is absolutely extraordinary. Um, this is probably part of a much larger movement. Uh, as some of you may know, um, Bolivia uh, last year uh, has passed laws granting all nature equal rights to humans. It's a way of I think getting us to see that we're codependent. We depend on nature uh, and we cannot live without um, a certain vitality in that nature. And if we destroy nature, as some of our projects are doing, uh, we're in very, very big trouble. I do hope you're also getting into uh, the course materials, especially the readings, as well as the videos that are posted on the website. Um, one of the most important things to read and is also the uh, uh, video lecture with him, uh, and that's Jared Diamond's collapse, especially his discussion of uh, what happened on Easter Island, which many people think is uh, provides an analogy uh, to what may be happening with planet Earth, a very isolated island in the Pacific Ocean, just as we are an isolated planet in the universe. There's nowhere else to go. And what Diamond and others worry about, uh, myself included, is that like the Easter Islanders, we're destroying our habitat. Uh, and that's what happened on Easter Island. It went from a population of, of perhaps as many as 30,000 people to uh, just over 100. And in the process, not only did they destroy um, the character of the island, which was heavily forested with the largest palm trees in the world, but they also destroyed other species uh, that uh, they ate to extinction. Uh, and um, they themselves actually wound up engaging in cannibalism. Um, as a way to attempt to survive. So be sure to really take a serious look at Jared Diamond. And also, uh, I've emphasized this before, but to get a real sense of the way in which we all became consumers, I think one of the things that you might uh, want to take a look at is, um, is the century of the self. And if you can, get all four parts of it, because it will give you a sense of how you learned, we all have learned in these times, to become consumers and how deeply embedded in our culture and in our political, economic, and social structures this is, uh, consumerism is. Um, I also want to emphasize to you that keep thinking about 
the issue of social structure, the context, etc. I mentioned last week C. Wright Mills's analysis of private troubles versus public issues, but you'll find that mirrored again um, in the article uh, under theme three by Amitai Etzioni called America, comma, spent after consumerism. And that, that contextual approach, that approach that looks at social structure and not just that matters through the lens of the individual are very, very important uh, for understanding the issues that we're addressing in the course. Well, if you do have any questions or reflections, please don't hesitate to write me directly. I'm always glad to respond. Um, uh, and uh, if there are, again, like Svetlana did with uh, her video, the video that she found on YouTube, please do more of this and start discussing things with people that you haven't discussed them with. Uh, we're very interested. And uh, I do hope if you haven't sent in um, information about the learning circles uh, and your choices in that regard, I hope you'll do so very, very soon. Thanks.